Welcome back to Daughters of Ash, everyone. We are going to get going. Going to get going. It's a just kind of sound weird phrasing, isn't it? But then again, it's not because it's correct. We're going to get going here, uh, continuing along the slope. Oh wait, no, we're not continuing along this path. I'm stupid. I almost forgot about the Capri Demon that is located not very far from this bonfire. My promise was that I would go and kill this fucking Capra demon finally. Finally, I think I am strong enough to do it. Uh, he's been like evading me for this entire game. And now it's an excellent, excellent hitboxes. Thank you. It's just what I need. Um, yeah, we'll kill it. He's been avoiding me the entire game. It's not happening any longer. Um, or something like that. I don't know. That's the plan. He might still kick my ass because he's really annoying. Actually. Uh, but I don't know. It's such a... Like a weird thing coming this way through this area. Happens quite a bit in this mod. That you go through areas in ways you don't normally do. Is that fucker gonna climb down? He is! Unbelievable! God, that is some dramatic music. Okay, you two, you can fuck off out of here. I said... Wonderful. This is like the replacement for the dogs. The OG Capra fight. These two friendly lizard men. I wish they were friendly. Honestly. Eat a backstab, bitch. Okay. We have seven stus. And he's menacingly approaching up the stairs. This is like really not a good fight. Like, it's not a good place to fight him. Honestly. Or maybe yes. Maybe you can hella exploit the height difference, can't you? I cannot believe that. Yes, you can. You can exploit it. Oh, that is actually wonderful. Okay, you need to come back up the stairs a little bit. I think I figured out... Oh, fuck off, Skelly. That is some serious damage. Yeah, I think I figured out the strat. For this guy. I swear. He's like... He's literally like Blue Smelter. Uh, they changed his... Like the timing on his attacks. Just a little bit. Eat shit, Capra. You may warp at bonfires as long as you possess the spark. Chthonic spark and dried chaos moat. Interesting. What is this? Fickle remnant stolen before the birth of chaos and a tragic reminder of Isolith's fate. Fire begets fire but also invites the close of the envious. Clutch this spark tightly or you will lose the mer mercurial abilities it provides. It's a nice word. Word of the day, mercurial. But what does it mean that now it can warp? Oh, it must be that I can uh, warp at all bonfire bonfires. All bonfires are now available. 
Uh, we can get two levs. We'll get to 30 decks, I think. No! Ke? That is really strange. Bruh. Okay. This is uh, quite the interaction here. Um, I don't get it. You gotta use it. No, because it says you have to hold on to it. Ain't gonna use that shit. Strange. I'll get to an actual bonfire we can warp from, that I know we can warp from. And we'll see if any new locations become available. Maybe that's the thing. And then, we can knock two bosses out with one stone. Or one episode. And take out Seath as well. Who, if he functions like normal Seath, there's no, like, uh, extra gimmick. It should be easy. The thing about Seath is, um, the most challenging thing is probably going to be the lack of a mm, plus 15 weapon. Which is in the DLC. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. Uh, probably if you were able to kill this guy right in the Undead Burg, lower Undead Burg, this would probably be really useful. Now that I have the Lord Vessel, eh, it's just kind of pointless, because I'm assuming it gives you the ability to warp anyways. Like, even if you don't have the Lord Vessel, okay. We're gonna do this bullshit throughout these platforms. It's gonna be pretty bad, but I'm interested to see at uh, like what they throw at us, or even if they change this area. I mean, honestly, this area is kind of a dead zone. I think uh, there's not much you can do with this place. But who knows? Who knows? Okay. I see moonlight, I see clams. Did I see a blood stain? Seriously? I gotta check that shit out. This is one of the worst enemies in this game. I hate these fucking crabs. No, crab. They just call this thing a crab. It's a clam. Or a mussel. I don't, oh, it's just a message. I thought that was a blood stain. Path ahead, yes. In case... In case you are unaware. And this is the dude we killed. Already in the Moonlight Butterfly boss room. And man, I hate that sliding platform. That sliding platform has been around... Forever imminent fall. They changed it, didn't they? Is it just a trick, you? That would be a dick move, wouldn't it? But see, they play with you because you would think that they would have changed it. But they didn't actually. Oh, thank fuck, this is the best. He actually has a fog gate. Oh, this is... Thank you. This is what I always hated about this boss fight. The fact that you have to take out all these annoying enemies. Before you get to face Seath. I mean, the cutscene is useless anyways, I would say. Uh, it's just him flying in. So it's like whatever. Holy shit frame rate. Chill out. Oh fuck. Mm. 
Well, we're gonna be here a while, boys. And I forgot to put on my curse resist set. Okay, we gotta we gotta cosplay a little bit. Cause I'm not about to be not about to be caught off guard. We all know this guy's a motherfucker and he curses you. Uh it has happened, if you weren't aware. I gotta stay at the front. Oh fuck. Man, it's really weird. The frame rate. Sometimes it just dips. I mean, my PC is hella strong enough to handle this game, but it's just weird. I mean, it's a pretty much. It's a pretty much. It's pretty much a well known fact how poorly optimized this game is. The modders have improved it quite a lot. Uh, what was I trying? I was trying to do something. Oh, yeah. Do I have a weapon buff? Yeah, I do. And this is how easy this boss fight is. Uh, I can like fuck around with my inventory while it's happening. I feel like this boss is this is worth this is worth a gold pine. Is that dealing more damage? A little bit. Yeah, excuse the frame rate again. Oh fuck. Yeah. So wait. Okay, I was just about to say, does he not curse you? But he do. It's just... Not the initial blast. I thought I was so, like... OD with the curse resist. That it doesn't even affect me anymore. But nah. Okay. I think he's dead. Yeah, I mean this boss fight. No matter which way you look at it, uh, this is a insanely easy boss fight. As commonly known. 60k souls though. It's pretty good. Pretty good, I would say. And immediately spend it, of course. Okay, where do we need to go next? Um, so this part is done. I'm kind of dreading going back to... What you call it? Lost Isolith, that's it. Only took me like a couple of minutes to remember the name. I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna try accessing the DLC. Apparently I read or somebody left a comment that if I have the silver pendant, which I do have, because I killed those cats, you can talk to Dusk, who is here after the butterfly. And she'll do something, because, you know, the DLC has the plus 15 ember. Uh, which is renamed in this version, but... A dark presence has emerged in the basin. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's Manus! Right? It has to be Manus. There's no other dark presence I can think of. I think. Because, I mean, no matter which way we look at it, uh, Havel is dead. So he cannot be the Dark Presence. 
Man, poor Havel, he got fucked up by the Capra Demon. Who then got fucked up by me. It was really a mutual fuck upping. Still. Somebody also said this is an older older comment that it's possible to open this. I think you also gotta have the silver pendant. It's completely useless at this point. I'm just, you know, just to demonstrate for effect. Really cur curious if she's even gonna be here. I mean, she should be. Hello. It's just a lot of running, you know. Excellent move. A tier, A tier movement. Sometimes you fall so weirdly in this game. Please be here, Dusk. Please don't make me run all the way up here. I don't even have Homeward Bones, unfortunately. So this is gonna be a gigantic pain in the ass. Oh, hell. Did she get killed? I think she she just got murked or something. She's not here. This is where she was. And she's now dead. I just took her clothes off of her corpse. My bad. Man, okay, first of all, that reminds me. Let's get out of this set. I wish, right? That would be pretty good. Maybe it is pretty good. I, I now have this ring on. It's not that I care that much. Like, if... I, if I have to remove it, it's whatever. Uh, but it, it is nice. I mean, Fap Ring... Obviously, one of the most broken rings in the series looks unchanged. But then again, I'm now starting to feel that I've been screwed over enough times in this playthrough that I can play with the Fap Ring and the Mask of the Mother. Right? I feel like it's almost given, like a given right to me. Approved Fap Ring and Mask of Mother user. Got the official stamp. Alright then, the only thing I can think of is going down. Into the base in. And then we'll... We'll see if there is a dark presence here. Namely Manus. Would be nice getting to the DLC. Well, you know, I never tested if the silver pendant even like acts the same way. What I mean by that is um, whether it still does like that little aura thingy. You know what I'm talking about. If not, I mean, if he's not here, I don't know, man. That's just, a, yeah, that's just a tree. I was like, hey, there's something in the water. But no, it's just a badly rendered tree. Oh, man, this is so much better compared to my fat roll playthrough in Dark Souls 3. Playing as a fat rolling character has its charm, but 
Man, is it annoying. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, okay, it's there. I was really worried for a second. So I wonder, I'm really wondering how much they will tinker with the DLC. I could almost see them doing it. Oh shit, stone gauntlets, stone armor. See, that's good, because four kings, you know. Gross hand. Oh shit, it's red now. What the hell? Black Phantom Manus. Ulasil Ember. Reflecting Pool, the fallen city of Ulasil. Which I should be able to. Yup, okay. I can warp out. The question is is there going to be a boss fight here? There is. Is it going to be two of them? No, it's just one. Keeping an eye out. I don't trust these dudes with anything. This is one of my least favorite boss fights, honestly. What the? Bruh. Our uh, second one is 100% gonna spawn. It's my prediction. I but but seriously, uh, the hatred I have for this boss fight is insane. I really don't like him. Mainly because... Whoa. Oh, they like hella sped up the projectile. Do you see that? That's some serious speeding. Speeding ticket. Okay. I just noticed he has a lot of HP remaining. And I have one Estus flask. But this is not looking good. Fuck. Oh, I just want to get rid of the tail. I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, this is... Oh, I dislike this boss fight so much. You don't even know. I dislike him in the main game as well. Um, yeah, it's just, he feels impossible to hit half the time. I almost wanna. Ah, that's too risky, isn't it? Get ten Estus. I'll keep. I'll keep a better eye out, you know. Uh, I was a little bit careless. Cause I'm so used to being able to just have ten humanities all the time. I'll keep this extra one for if we get through. And I'm assuming there's another bonfire after. <laughs> That's a real bastard attack now. It tracks more as well. Oh, fucking kidding me. I have a lot of HP. So 
Sorry for not talking too much. I'm like legit concentrating. Ah, fuck. That's really bad. He's like is hella sped up. Uh, maybe not. I honestly don't even know. You bitch has tail out of here. Chug. That was really slow recovery. It's really throwing me off. It's really throwing me off. The sped up projectiles. Oh man, I can't believe I'm finding this thing. Uh, but we gotta do I assume you gotta do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that they made the DLC man not man yeah, mandatory. You cannot progress without coming here. From what I heard through the grapevine. Fuck you. It's not looking good. It's, yeah, it's really not looking good. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge, but it's just not happening. I'm dead, yeah. Feels like he's like on steroids or some shit. He's the f this is the Flash version of the Sanctuary Guardian. Or maybe it's just been, it has been very long since I fought him. Maybe he's always been this fast. Ah, fuck it, one more attempt. One last one. Just the key is not to lose that humanity. It's way too precious in this game. Thank you. Oh, the shockwave. So he always does that. I don't think he used to do that in the vanilla game where he would always charge after doing that blast attack. This was normally the attack to get some cheap hits in. I'm ending it here. Um, I don't think this is happening today. Uh, can't say I didn't give it a good attempt. Hopefully. Oh, this boss fight. This is... You know, actually... This is up there with the worst boss fights in the series, I think. Uh, he manages to be, like, so... Generic... And then also so annoying at the same time. Not just this version, but the vanilla version as well. He manages to be like both boring and really annoying at the same time, which is like the worst combo. Anyways, I'll wrap it up here. We'll pick it up from here, maybe, next time. I might just warp the fuck out of here. Uh, we'll decide 
yeah, thanks for watching and peace out.